开心，今天的节目呢，再次请到了万里法律教育集团的梁律师来到节目当中，告诉大家如何帮助我们的华人孩子们拿奖金、进名校。那么今天除了我们的梁万里律师之外呢，还有一位进入伯克莱大学就读的高才女学生 Michelle 也来到节目当中，和我们大家分享她进入名校的秘诀。欢迎两位，嗨，万里律师，嗨 ，Michelle， 嗨 ，Oh my God，Go Bears，Go Bears， 是 Bear Territory。对，没错，我们今天呢，我们应该算是学姐学妹 ，right？ Even though it's like ancient history， but still， 你还是算是我的学妹。Yes. But even though even though for me it was a long time ago， 但是嗯， um, 虽然是很久以前的事情，但对我来说 ，it's one of the my the best time of my life。How how are you enjoying it right now？ 你现在第几年？第几年？呃、uh, ，第二年，第二年。Yes. Okay。I just finished my first semester,、uh -huh. second year at Berkeley.、Uh -huh. I had a great first semester, a really、uh -huh. wonderful one.、Uh -huh. um, continuing to enjoy it right now. So you, 跟我一样，刚进去的时候，应该是就是很开心 ，right? 但是有没有一些让你没有想到的地方 ？An unexpected thing. 当然也有。Shocking, yes. culture shock. Yes, definitely.、Um, 我是从 San Diego, so Southern California, very different from Northern California. Everyone told me Northern California, you know, it's very liberal over there. You're you're gonna expect, you're gonna encounter a lot of things that are very different. They're very open-minded.、Um, to me, open-minded is a good thing, right? Because it's a new experience. It's gonna be a new college experience, anyways. And to go there to not be so far away from home. 我妈妈跟我讲说，没有太远，想要回家就可以回家。但是够远，那我已经已经十九岁、十八岁。去大学觉得啊，我可以自己 spread out my wings a little bit， 有我自己的 space， 有我自己的 experience， just the right space， just just perfect， just right， perfect。所以所以呢，这个我想伯克莱啊，对很多人来说是一个非常好的学校。那呃，这个万里律师，我想请问你，那伯克莱其实虽然是公立的学校，但是在加州来讲哦，是很多加州的学生想挤进去都挤不进去的。对,对,对，对，现在越来越难了。嗯，为什么啊、嗯？外州的学生还有外国的学生，因为他们可以付全额，付 double the price， 六、嗯、万块。嗯哼。所以呢，嗯，这是变成钱的问题。嗯、所以加州的学生那个 admission rate、嗯、进去率越来越小。嗯、那你怎么呃、uh, get in 呢？当然要 you know somehow make yourself you know stand out, stand out,、嗯、special. Apparently, Michelle stood out, <laughs> 对不对？所以刚才讲话就是没有看到。Oh, absolutely! Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> Even though I did nothing, but I just feel proud that you are going to Berkeley. So you, you 刚刚有说了这个伯克莱，我想吸引你一个很大地方就是它那个自由学习的一个这个气氛氛围。那除此之外，你觉得伯克莱最棒的地方在哪里呢？好，我觉得最棒一一个地方是，很多人会觉得 private 跟 public school 的这个分开的这个 pros 跟 cons。嗯。啊，我觉得我听的大部分的人会说 Berkeley 太大了，你是个 public school， right？ The resources， the money， there's not enough to go around、mm.。To that I say， that is one of Berkeley's strengths、mm.。And that in the real world， you have to be independent、mm.。In the real world， you have to find a way。How can I be unique？ Right? How can I stick out? And then amongst so many people. Exactly, amongst、mm -hmm. the entire world. Yeah. And to that, that I say, college is supposed to be an experience where you are being prepped for your future.、Mm. Those four years, if you can somehow stand out in the Berkeley crowd of what is it, thirty, forty thousand students, you will be well equipped to stand out in the future. That is such a good point. I never really heard that argument. So, 那刚刚 Michelle 呢，他说呢，这个伯克莱呢，对很多人说，这个伯克莱虽然是个好学校，但是是公立学校，所以他在资源上没有私立学校的这么的充裕。但是呢，他的这个理论是说呢，这么这么多的人，那资源上那么有限，那你怎么样让在这么多的人的一个小社会里面，让自己能够突出，然后如果你能够在那里生存，然后有很好的表现的话，你将来出了社会，进入了真正的这个现实的世界，你一样是可以 make it not a problem.、Yes. That's a, such a good point. I am so proud. <laughs> That is such a good point. What's your major? In、uh, political science, uh -huh. uh, specifically political theory, political and theory. then English. And I just declared English. So when I go back after winter break, I will declare、uh, political science as a double major. Double major. So it means that this this politics and 这个英文都是非常困难的戏，而且尤其在伯克莱，如果还记得的话，是一个人让你要勇于表现自己的一个地方。You have constantly have a discussion. Oh yes. Yeah. How how do you like that? Uh, for me, I love being challenged. I love being in a place where, again, this goes back to the whole. Everyone says it's very liberal. It's not actually. I would say people who go there don't have the same opinions. No. They have the same level of passion. 
However, different opinions, different interests, different backgrounds. The word that I would use to describe Berkeley is diverse, mm -hmm. right? So you're trying to figure a way to become unique, but at the mm -hmm. same time, you, it is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. It is your duty to take hold of this sort of opportunity of all of these different sorts of ideas and people and sort of you digest it. You digest it, and then you mm -hmm. and then you discover how do I fit in? Exactly. The better you understand this, the better you make connections with these people. They're your future mm -hmm. uh, pot potential coworkers, right? Potential people in the world. You have to work with these people. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. So to me, it was perfect. It was great. 真的是一个，我觉得 Michelle 虽然年纪很小，可是他这个观察非常细微，他的体验呢也非常的敏锐。就是他觉得说，这个伯克莱呢，就是。呃，我们常说伯克莱是一个多种族、多元化的一个学习环境。然后呢，但是但是有一个同样的东西是他们有很大的热情。我发现这是个名校里面一个很这个同样的一个点，就是你你认识的这些人。你将来要跟这些人共事，你怎么样从这中间呢去消化你所学到，从这些人身上学到，将来你可能会跟这些人一起共事。所以我觉得名校最大的优势是在于跟你一起学习的这些人。所以他们教研究是教教不同的人，但是对一个很 passionate 的，所以大家混在一起互相。没错，所以就变成说你在申请大学的时候，你怎么样呢？展现你的热情，展现你个人的特质。对，这这继续 elaborate the point， 在大学呢，你。Learning 不只是在 classroom、mm -hmm. 跟老师、教授，你跟你同学在图书馆，没错，在吃饭的时候，或、呃、学习是二十四小时的。没错，没错，所以这是一个，这个是完全是浸浸泡在的一个学习环境啊。所以呢，我们刚刚讲了这么多，那我真的。觉得 Michelle 是一个非常优秀的学生，我也觉得很恭喜你进入 b r o o k l i n 大学。那他们也很荣幸有你这样的一个学生。但是呢，我们还是来聊聊，就是在之前 Michelle 在进入大学之前，他申请大学的一些过程，好不好？我们稍微休息一会，马上回来。